today's message is called unfollow, okay? Uh, and if you're on social media, which if you're watching this, you definitely have got some kind of connection to social media. Um, there's a, you'll know that there's a button on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, and whatever else there might be out there. I don't know. I don't know. WhatsApp, maybe. Um, things like that, where you can actually click a button and it says um, unfollow. And you can stop following um, people, groups, things you don't want to see um, just by the click of a button. And I was looking at this button this week. And, um, and I just thought, it's so easy for us to click on a button. Why is it so difficult for us to actually do that in real life? And that's what the message is going to be about today. That, that actually, like in, in um, the way the world is today, we can just click a button. But why is it that it's not as simple as that in real life for us? Why, why is it for us to, to remove things from our life, to take things out of the way that cause us to have a bad influence, to discourage us, to, to stop us from moving forward? Why is it that we really struggle to click that button in our lives? And, and that's what I want to encourage you with today. That, there, that today, I believe, I'm gonna, it's not going to be an easy message because what I'm going to ask you to do is something really, really tough, really, really difficult. I'm going to ask you to let go today. I'm going to ask you to let go of things that have been holding on to you, um, hindering you, causing you to, to struggle, to, to, to not be able to move forward, to, to hinder you in your walk with God, to hinder you in walking in the new with God. And, and today, it's going to be a hard message because I'm asking you already now, I'm inviting you to start preparing your heart to get yourself ready to let go to unfollow. Are you ready to unfollow? Is it today is the day that you can start the process of unfollowing some things in your life that need to go? And that is hard for us because we do like to keep these things in our lives at times. We, we struggle to just let it go. And today is the day, if you want it to be, to unfollow. You see, if we click the unfollow button, um, it means that, that an area or a person or an influence in your life will be removed from your social media feed. There are also other, another button which is called unsubscribe. I don't know, but if you've got email, you will undoubtedly get emails you do not want. That, um, we call them spam, but they, they, you can end up coming into your inbox. And often they are... There are emails that are there to tempt you. They're there. They're emails asking you to click on links that you probably shouldn't click on or to buy, maybe buy things that they know somehow, they know, people know out there, the kind of things you like and you don't like. Um, and so they send you messages that, that, um, that, that appeal to you. So you end up clicking on links that, that end up causing you to spend money um, that you don't have on shopping or on clothes or on material things because some, somehow it's just popped into your feed. You even may even use this thing where it's like, I think it might have been God because it, look, it arrived in my, in my feed. But the reality is it is not God. And, 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 and these are just, um, these are just a, an analogy for real life, that things pop up in our lives, that we have an ongoing life freed. So what happens is in the morning, if you're not savvy with social media, I'm really sorry that some of these things might go over your head. But the reality is, is that we wake up in the morning and we scroll through something, whether it's Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. We spend a lot of time doing these things and we look at what other people are doing and we, we look for things that people, some people put things out there and it encourages us and it might say a scripture and you'd be like, oh, that really, I really needed that today or a song and you click on it. Oh, wow, that was incredible. Just the right timing for me or I love that song. And there's other things that pop up that can cause temptation. Other things that can pop up to, to see words you don't want to see. Um, other times you can end up um, seeing things that cause you to be hurt and, 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 and damage through um, and so you can scroll through these things and we damage we do this to ourselves every day we just cause ourselves to look sometimes for the things that will hurt us but we still look for it anyway rather than just letting go rather than just unfollowing we choose to keep it there in our lives and actually we are our life is a walking scroll that as we, as we walk through life, that actually throughout our life, there are things just appearing in front of us all the way through. That as we uh, um, take on certain parts of our lives going forward, sometimes the things in the past end up appearing in our scroll. Where did that come from? And this is what happens to us in our lives. And, and as we walk with God, 
Um, the enemy will always look to put things in your feed, to put things there that will cause you to stumble, cause you to look back, cause you to stop looking forward to what he's asking you to do and cause you to stumble in your walk with him. Today, I want to encourage you that today is a day that you can choose to unfollow those things in your life. Today, I want you to join me on making this day the start of letting go. That today, we are going to click on the unfollow button or that unsubscribe link. That today, we will, we will let the power of the Holy Spirit the whole theme of our worship today, the power of our Holy Spirit, begin a process in us to move forward and to let um, and to choose today to unfollow. That's my challenge to you today. Prepare your heart. I believe right now you already know what it is you need to unfollow. Right now, you know what it is that's causing you and hindering you and causing you to struggle. Now, yeah, it might be on social media. It might be a simple case of you literally clicking a button. But, but this is deeper than that. What is it that's in your life that you need to unfollow, that you spiritually need to click on the unfollow button for, for, for it to be gone from your life? What is it? You know it already. I know you know it. As soon as we started this, I know already that people are like, yeah, that is causing me to stumble. That is causing me to stop moving forward where God wants me to move forward. That God's got new plans, but I'm stuck in the old way. That maybe your past is hindering your future, your feed. As you walk through life, things keep popping up, temptations discouragements, past failures keep popping up on your feed. And today God is saying it's time to unfollow those things in your life. Let's get rid of them. I want to just run through the story of Joseph. We're not going to turn there, but it's Genesis 37 is where his story starts. And I want you to to um, go away and have a look at Joseph's story. It's a great story, an incredible story, and something worth looking into for yourself. But I'm just going to just pick out some bits with Joseph because Joseph was a guy that had to unfollow. He's a guy that actually had to make the conscious choice to unfollow. Otherwise, the future that we read in scripture would not and could not have happened. See, Joseph was a kid who was favored by his father and he was hated by his brothers. That because of his stand before God and because he was blessed because of it, he was hated as a young man and he was beaten by his brothers, thrown in a pit to be killed. Instead of being killed, he was sold into slavery. He was broken, rejected, neglected, forgotten. And yet through Joseph's story, we see a man who continued to honor God. And he was blessed and he had to make a choice at some point on that journey to let go, to unfollow, to forgive, to allow what had happened to him to just go. So that he could move forward honoring God, hearing God, and being honorable in the things that God was asking him to do in his conduct and how he lived. That he wouldn't break um, or have an excuse to, to just do what he wanted, even when uh, he was faced with temptation in Potiphar's house. His moral stance of knowing that he would let God down was still greater in his life, even though he had every reason as a human being to blame God, to say, well, God, if you don't want me to go down this path, you shouldn't have put me here in the first place. That's the kind of attitude that we have. We blame others for our situation. We blame God for our situation. And then we sin and we blame God and say, well, it's your fault that I even ended up there. But the truth is, the reason that we usually end up in those places in the first place is because we haven't let go. We haven't chosen to unfollow of things in our past that causes us to have the blockage to God. And then when the Holy Spirit challenges us to make the stand, like Joseph made the stand, that actually we're not able to because we're not in communion with God. I want to encourage you today that Joseph... Um, is a great example of, of someone that had to choose 
to let go. He had to choose to forgive. He had to choose to allow God to stay in his life the way he did. He had to remove the blockages. He had to unfollow. I want to encourage you today that God wants you to do like Joseph, to let go. I believe there are people listening today who have been hurt, rejected, who have uh, have been left alone, who are angry and unable to forgive. Today, I pray that you will be able to click that unfollow button. There's a statement that I found um, this week, and it says, God can't give you something new until you are willing to let go of the things that are not good for you. God can't give you something new until you're willing to let go of the things that aren't good for you. Often we're asking God to bless us. Often we're asking God to take us into the new. And yet we're not letting go of the old. And we're holding on to what is behind. We're holding on to what's been effective in our life or affected us in our lives negatively and positively. That we're not letting go of these things first. We want the new, but we want to take the old with us. And God is saying, I can't give you the new until you get rid of this stuff that's not good for you. Today, I pray that you would be able to choose to let go. Today, I pray that you would be able to choose to forgive, that you would be able to choose to forgive yourself, that you would be able to choose to let go of things that have happened, mistakes that you've made, mistakes that others have made, um, that, that, that you might have habits in your life. You might have situations in your life that you'd need to let go of. Today, I pray that you would click the unfollow button in your life. Let's read some scripture. Um, bless you guys. So here we go. So Romans 8, 13 to 14. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if, the spirit, if by the spirit you put to death the misdeeds of the body, you will live. For those who are led by the spirit are the children of God. If you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the misdeeds of the body, you will live. I want to challenge you today that we can sit in our flesh. We can sit in us doing it our way, trying to make it happen. But there's nothing that we can bring to God other than our availability, other than just here I am, God. I've got nothing in my hands. I need you. I need you. And if we can get that right, if we can get that in our lives where we understand that we need him and that we can't even receive his forgiveness, we can't even receive um, the blessing and 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 the grace of God over our lives if we are not also willing to allow these things to go. It says in one of the scriptures, I'll read in a minute, if you forgive other people um, that sin against you, your heavenly father also forgives you. That's a challenging statement to make, but it's truth. 2 Corinthians 5, 17, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are becoming new. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things are becoming new. Ephesians 4, 31, 32 this is the first part. We're gonna, this is challenging because the challenge is, it says this, let all bitterness, wrath, anger, and clamor and slander be put away from you among all, with all malice. Be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you. Matthew 6, 14, verse 15. If, for if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. We're just going to take a moment here first. We're going to pause because I can talk and talk and talk and try and sell a message. But I want you to take a moment now because the reality of this message is that before we can unfollow, sometimes we need to forgive. Sometimes we need to lay down some things. Sometimes we need to just let go. And um, there may be people that have hurt you and and caused damage to you in the past. Um, And that actually, those are the types of things that are happening to you as you're walking through life, your feed of life. These people pop up. They still got a control over you. The control that they have over you, I believe, is more unforgiveness than what they've done. Because God will bring the healing of what they've done. 
But the problem is there's a barrier between us and God when we can't lay such things down. It's not easy. I told you this is not going to be an easy message. To unfollow is not an easy message. It's not an easy thing to do. Today isn't the day that everything is all fixed. Today is the beginning of the start of the process of unfollowing, of forgiving, of letting go, of moving forward. I pray that it's a faster process um, than you think. But the reality is we start the process today. I want to encourage you right now to just take this moment. Think about, is there people, is there certain issues in your life? Is there a past that you have and that actually you've been carrying this burden in your life for a long time? And that actually what's stopping you from moving into the new is letting go of the past. And there's a big thing about forgiveness. People think that forgiveness is letting those that have done wrong to you off the hook. But actually forgiveness has got nothing to do with letting anyone off the hook other than you. It's not to bring them freedom. It's to bring you freedom. Because then you're not carrying a burden that you were never meant to carry. And not only in that, that the forgiveness that you need from the Father is then received. Because you are able to forgive those. Because you first understand that you are a sinner that needs forgiving. This is not an easy message. And I'm not downplaying anything that anyone has gone through in their life. But what I want to say to you is I care about you. And I care that the burden that you're carrying and the anger and the resentment and the unforgiveness and the the damage that you, you, you wear every day stops you from having a relationship with the Father as you should have. And it needs to go. So we're just going to take a moment. This is just part, part of the message, but this is the first bit. So if you're with me right now in this, if you know that you need to unfollow, that you need to go on this process, that you need to let go of some of the things that people have done to you, that actually I'm going to ask you today just to start that process. Take a moment to forgive those who have hurt us, but also to forgive ourselves for the mistakes we've made, that we are not allowing God to forgive us that actually you feel that you've made mistakes, that you've let people down, that you've caused damage, that the consequences of them already exist, but the reality is you have not been able to forgive yourself for what's happened. God is saying, let, let, that, let me come and heal you and let me come and give you the forgiveness that you need. Receive my forgiveness. You are forgiven. This is the first process. Just let God come and forgive you. Let yourself forgive others that need forgiving you know two weeks ago I said it's our responsibility to search ourselves and to let God reveal what we need to take care of today we need to forgive today we need to let go perhaps the enemy that voice in your head is causing you to feel blamed and at fault for situations that have happened today God is saying let it go forgive yourself Let it go. Let God pour his incredible forgiveness into you. Or perhaps like Joseph, you need to forgive someone who has hurt you, caused you damage, stirred anger, injustice in you. Today is the day to start the process of forgiveness, to allow God to bring you peace today. We need to unfollow this, these things that we need to unfollow these things that cause us to be in a prison. Today, I will ask you to take a moment to pray with me, to lay down whatever it is you need to lay down. Unforgiveness, bitterness, anger, slander, they all lead to us having a block between us and God. Let's unfollow that today, that we will no longer be influenced in this way. Will you just join me in praying? I'm just going to pray. And if you're at home right now and you know you need to lay some stuff down right now, that you need to just let go, then just join me in praying. Father, we are a mess. We are a mess. Lord, we fall short. It says all have sinned. I am not an exception and nobody else is. None of us, none of us meet the mark. All of us fall short. Thank you, Jesus, that you paid that price because you did cover us in your blood because you could do it and only you could do it thank you God
But Father, would you just help us today to click on that unfollow button of situations in our lives where we need to forgive ourselves maybe for the mistakes that we've made that we're not letting you heal us from or from the mistakes that others or the damage that others have caused us in the past. Lord, that caused us to get angry, bitter, upset, resentful and and, and carrying uh, uh, um, unforgiveness with us. We want to start the process today of clicking that button and saying, I don't want to follow that way of life anymore. I don't want those things popping up in my feed of life anymore. I want to be dictated to by those things, by those people, by those influences, by that past. I don't want that anymore. Lord, you help us to click on that button. Not that we would go back and unclick it, but Lord, that this would be today the day that we start a process with you moving forward with you letting go of what was that we can move into what you have in jesus name father would you forgive us for our trespasses would you forgive us for the things that we do think and say that come against you and come against others father help us to lay that down at your feet help us lord to receive lord your forgiveness in that Lord, that we would have clear minds, we would have pure hearts, Lord, that we would be in a place that we would be able to just move forward free in the freedom and the liberty that you've given us. Father, I pray right now, people watching, this is hard, this is difficult, to let go is difficult. We know in our lives that people can be toxic, we know in our lives that situations and and groups and, and things that are around us can be toxic. And for some reason, even though it does us damage, even though it hurts us over and over and over and over again, we still can't click on that unfollow button. Father, I ask for your strength through the power of the Holy Spirit today that we would make that bold choice to click that button in our life today. Help us, Lord, to let go. Remove this, the toxicity of situations of people around us that hurt us, cause us damage, tempt us away from you. Help us to let it go today. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you guys prayed that with me, if you're in agreement with me in that prayer, we've started a journey today. We started the beginning of something where we're not going to let this stuff influence us. And I want to just say to you that as it crops up, because it will, the enemy, I'm telling you from experience, will pummel you hard today. If you made that prayer you're real today to let go, to forgive someone, to just lay it down so that God could come in and do a work in you, that the old is going and the new is on its way. And that the new that God wants to give you is only there if we can get rid of the stuff. That is not good for us. If you're starting to make that choice today, I want to pray protection over you right now. I want to say be on your guard because everything will come at you hard to make sure that you do not follow through with that. And yet I believe if you choose and you make that stand today, it's going to change your life forever. This isn't an easy message and this isn't a simple thing. This is letting go. This is letting go in a big way. And I pray for the strength of the Lord to fill you, that you would make it real in your life. As we know, Joseph moves forward and God blesses him and gives him favor today. I pray as you let go of your past and you unfollow those that have hurt you and attacked you, caused you pain, as you let go, as you forgive, that you can receive God's forgiveness that you would be blessed and have favor in the sight of God. I pray that the testimonies of your actions in your heart today will be seen and lives will be changed, including yours. Church, as we choose to start the process today on unfollowing, we will move forward into the greater things that are yet to come. As we choose today to start unfollowing What damages us, hurts us, causes us to stumble, be distracted, 
and move away from what God is asking us to do, as we do that, there are greater things are still to come. Amen. Let's just read a few scriptures. I just want to actually say there, talking about forgiveness, talking about letting go, talking about toxicity of people, we actually have a wonderful lady in our church. Um, if you have been part of anything domestic um, in, in an abusive way, um, and you're watching and you're saying, I know I need to let go for me to move forward with God, that these people in my life have caused so much damage, but it's so hard to forgive. Um, we have someone here that would, lo- would most definitely love to just talk you through that. Because like I said, this is not an easy message. This isn't a simple case of just let it go. What's your problem? No, this is, this is healing. This is a process that we need to go through. But actually, if you just need a bit of counseling, if you need a bit of encouragement, if you just need to know um, that you're not alone as well, um, and you know that you need to let go of these, these characters, these situations in your life, the past that has caused you so much hurt, and you just need someone to, to stand with you and let you know that it's okay, um, please contact us and we'll put you in contact um, with, 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 with that lady in our church um, um, who will undoubtedly encourage you and support you through that. Proverbs 4, 25, 27. Let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. Give careful thought to the paths for your feet and be steadfast in all your ways. Do not turn to the right or to the left. Keep your foot from evil. I'll say it again. Let your eyes look straight ahead. We're not going to look back anymore. We're not going to go backwards anymore. We're going to look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. Give careful thought to the paths of your feet and be steadfast in your ways. Let's make sure that we understand where we're standing. That is the path that God wants us to lead. That let's make sure that we're on his path. That we're being led by his spirit. Do not turn to the right. Do not turn to the left. Keep your foot from evil. Let's reject the work of the enemy in our lives. Let's reject the the darkness that's there. That's always pulling us back. Let's reject it. Let's stay true. Let's keep our eyes focused on the path ahead. Isaiah 43, 18 to 19. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the waste wasteland. Forget the former things and do not dwell on the past. God wants you to let go today. He wants you to let go. He wants you to click that unfollow button for good today. Get rid of this junk in your life that's holding you back. Get rid of the temptations that pop up, the things that you need to unsubscribe from, unsubscribe from today. Remove them from your life. Get rid of the temptations. Be honest with yourself. Stop trying to justify it. Just get rid of it. I need to unfollow. I need to remove. Be brave. Philippians 3, 13 to 14. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, I forget what is behind and straining, which means it's hard work, but we're going to move forward, which is ahead. I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Our prize is yet to come. But until then, we don't look back. We look forward. We do not let the things of the past hold us back. People of the past, things that were done to us. We do not let the temptations of the present. We do not let things that are coming at us every day in our life feed to hinder us anymore. Just start clicking the unfollow button and get rid of them. Remove them from your life. It needs to go. Who is it or what is it? That needs to go in your life today. God's got a plan. He's got something new. And it's time. It's time that we just start looking forward. Not looking back. Keeping our eyes fixed. That we do not fall into evil. But that we look and we fix our gaze on him ahead. Let's push forward today church. Let's let's let go. Let's unsubscribe. Let's forgive. Let's unfollow. All these things in our lives today that we come across that causes us to hurt and damage, that leads us into areas that we do not want to go, that lets us choose today to remove those areas from our lives 
that are stopping us from moving forward into the new God has for us. If you today have a situation, a past, a temptation, a person or something that you are following right now that is only going to cause you pain, hurt, unforgiveness, anger, and you want to make that step today to begin the process of moving forward, looking forward to the new that God has for you, I'm going to ask you to do something brave in a minute. I'm going to ask you to do something brave in a minute. You see, the first bit about just forgiveness, laying that down, needed to happen. And if you did that, great. If you didn't, watch it again. Go back. Go through that process so that you can let go. Let go. Forgive. Lay it down. But once you come through that process, we can start coming to the place where we can start saying, right, I want to choose to unfollow. I want this stuff gone for good. If you have these situations, I'll say that again. If today you have a situation, a past, a temptation, a person or something that you are following right now that is only going to cause you pain, hurt, unforgiveness, anger, and you want to make the step today to begin the process of moving forward, looking forward to the new God has for you, then I'm going to ask you to do something something brave. Ben, are you okay just to put that little bit up at the bottom? It says, I, I want you to write a line. I want you to write a line. You can write it in your journal. If you've got a journal, if you've, if you've got a, a feed like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, or, or, or if, if, you're, if you haven't really got that access to that, but you do have text messages. Today, I want you to do something really brave. I want you to write this statement out. It's at the bottom. Today, I am choosing to unfollow. Today, I am choosing to unfollow. And I want want you to put it on your feed, whether it's your Facebook feed, whether it's sending a text to someone you know that will stand with you in prayer. So just send it to them. You do not need to specify what it is you're unfollowing. If you want to share that with people, if you want to say what it is, that's up to you. But I'm not asking you to do that. God knows. But what I am asking you to do is do something really brave, to just go on your feed, to go on on, on a text message, to write it in your journal, make it real. Make today a statement day, a day where you say, I'm choosing today to unfollow this stuff that's been holding me back for too long, that's hindering me, that's stopping me from being who God wants me to be, that's stopping me from moving in the new. I will ask you to do that. Like I said, if you, if you, or send it, or you could do what you could do all of them. Do it, put it on all of them if you want. Make a statement today that today is an important day for you in your life. Send texts out to people. Today I am choosing to unfollow. Like I said, you don't need to say what it is. God knows and you know. Why not make it real? Why not make it real today? I am choosing to unfollow. I am choosing to unfollow. And then this is the hard thing as well. Whatever it is you need to unfollow, if you need to make a physical step to make it happen, delete a contact off your phone, unfollow a group on social media, unsubscribe to those emails um, that are leading you astray, even maybe even coming off of certain things like social media, Removing yourself from whatever can cause you to stumble. If there's something physical you know that you can do today, do it. Do it. Do not hold on to it any longer. Do not wait another moment. Just do it. Get it done. Start the process today of unfollowing. Let go. It's time to let go. So I'm going to ask, we're going to wait one moment. You can come off of here, but go on your feed, send a text message, put it in the comments, make it real. Today, I am choosing to unfollow. Will you do that right now? Will you do that right now? Before we move on, just so that we don't forget, we don't think, oh, that was a nice message and we forget it. Make a statement. If you know that this is you, for you today, I don't care if it's just one person. That's all God cares about. Let's reach the one. If there's one person today that needs to unfollow and needs this message to change their life for good, go on your feed right now. Go on your Facebook feed and just write something or your Twitter feed or your um, write it in your diary. Put it in your notes. Send a text message to someone and say, today I'm choosing to unfollow. Just like it says on here. Today I am choosing to unfollow. 
And you don't have to say what it is. Just say, today I am choosing to unfollow. Just take that moment to go and do that now. Make it real. I mean it like it's a prayer. God, today I am choosing to unfollow. God, today I'm choosing to remove that influence from my life. Today, God, I am getting rid of it. And then later on or whenever it is you want to do it, put it into action. Whether it's just a spiritual or heart decision you need to make or whether it's something physical that you need to do, like a delete button or um, a message you may need to send or something, make it happen. Put it into practice. Make it real. I'm just going to pray as you guys do that. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. Father, I just pray, including myself, Lord, that today I would choose to remove the things in my life that are causing me to stumble, to be hindered, discouraged, upset, that stop me from moving into the new because I keep looking at the past. Lord, would you help me to click on that unfollow button today in my life? Lord, would you help me to do that? Lord, I pray for all these people that are watching today. Lord, would you help them? Lord, would you bless them? And Lord, would you just help them today to say, yes, today I'm choosing not to be hindered by these things anymore. Father, I pray that they would understand that today is the beginning of that journey, the start of that journey. That God, even though we believe that you can do anything as quickly as you want to do, and maybe for some that will be an instant impact and change, but for others, I pray that they would understand this is the start of that process, the beginning of letting go. Lord, would you help us? Help us to click on that unfollow button in our lives today. What is it that we need to let go of, church? What is it that needs to go? Remove it from your feed today. We're not quite finished yet because the story is not over. It never is in these messages. Because a lot of what I'm asking you to do is for you to do something. But there's something that we need. You see, we have a choice today to unfollow. But the thing that we really need to do is to check who we are following. Who are you following today? Who is it that you choose to follow? Who is it that guides you, leads you, directs you? Who is it that dictates how you live your life? Who is it that's in control of you? Is it you? Is it somebody else? Something else? See, today we have a choice, yes, to unfollow. But I want to also say to you, you have a choice today to click on that follow button. To accept a friend request. From the only one that matters. The only one that matters. You see, if you just accept his friend request in your life, that feed that we're talking about won't have all this junk. It won't have spam. It won't have discouragement. It won't have reminders of your past. It will be full of encouragement. It will be full of things that will feed you, encourage you, and stir up your faith as you walk with him. If you accept his friend request today, if you choose to follow him, it changes everything about how we live this life. And the more we follow him and the, less we ch the more we click on that unfollow button to everything else, the less the stuff will affect us. As we choose today to unfollow that which hinders us, we equally need to ensure that we replace that which is gone with something greater, more powerful, and who will never let us down. Today we need to choose Jesus. Today we need to choose to follow Jesus. Today we need to accept him as the friend. If you have one friend, if you just have one friend for the rest of your life, make sure that is him. Make sure that it's him. Scripture, 1 Corinthians 11, 1, 2. This is from Paul. Be imitators of me as I am of Christ. 1 Peter 2, 21. For to this you have been called because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example so that you might follow in his steps. Christ suffered for you, leaving you an example that you could follow in his steps. 
1 um, John 8, 12. Again, Jesus spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Matthew 4, 19. And he says to them, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Follow me. Follow me. Whoever follows me will not walk in in darkness. Today I want to say to you guys, yes, 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 we need to unfollow stuff in our lives. It's got to go. It needs to end. It needs to be removed and you need to click that button. But the most important thing is, who are you following? Who are you following? Just like on social media, we receive friend requests. Jesus is consistently always sending us that request. Are we accepting it? Are we embarrassed by it? Are we worried? Are we willing to click on it? Are we willing to say, yes, Jesus, I need you more and more every day in my life.